like the eagle watching the direction of the wind and then it spreads its wings that's what we call soaring it does not fly the eagle soars but the challenge usually is the ministry of the spirit and i'll tell you why because for you to begin to engage the ministry of the spirit it will do many things to you number one the ministry of the spirit will in many regards insult your sense of maturity and order the character of the spirit was given in john chapter 3 and verse 8 the wind blow it the word is orderly there is a system of order but when you come to the ministry of the spirit it demands extreme flexibility are we together now so the wind blew it where it listed the candle wick does not move around but the oil can move around even though within the vessel it is it, it can be confined this dimension of the holy spirit is, is, is a threat to tradition are we together now so when you begin to operate by the ministry of the spirit and now you see someone dancing like a fool you know now there's a problem with this one you see where the problem is there is no problem talking acting intelligently i mean remember you went to school and now something comes upon you and you have to dance or something comes upon you and you have to laugh and you are saying hallelujah i don't even know what is happening to me i'm jumping around and they say now i know that this your spirit thing has a problem yet that was the, the same thing that we call foolish is what made the virgins wise So the canal man, he says, cannot receive the things. He never said the canal man cannot receive the word. He said the canal man can still be a virgin. But when it the true test of spirituality is the ability to sustain the flexibility, to be balanced, yet to be able to receive. That means that if someone is shouting there under the anointing, um, I know that I, I, um, this is a church with order, but your pastor has that spiritual intelligence to know that that shout is not just rowdiness. There is something being birthed in the spirit. I understand how easy it is come my dear to look at this lady and say in the name of Jesus I speak over your life be healed but when the Holy Ghost tells you just walk around this lady move like this you see that's the ministry of the spirit that one now even you the doer you are you are threatened by what the newspaper will interpret this thing to be uh, you, you would rather be confined Our interpretation of spiritual things is proof of the absence of the oil in the lamb. Oh. Yet the Bible says it is in accessing that hidden wisdom that the glory of the saints lie. That means sometimes it is in my jumping in the room alone. I'm saying hallelujah Lord I don't know what you are doing but I'm just jumping like a fool and the Bible says my glory is being programmed in that it doesn't make sense to me but it is the ministry of the spirit why will a tenant be rejoicing and just say, oh thank you oh oh Lord I give you praise I'm dancing a husband holds his wife and says we've been barren for five years but let's roll on the carpet and that, that's what the Holy Spirit is saying and you just look at him and say you mean it no wonder you don't have a child with, with this kind of sense that I mean what is all this and three months later they tell you the woman carried triplets eight years of birth compressed in nine months the glory of the saints if she gave birth to only one child she would sponsor the child but now a rich man gets interested in these triplets and said look the fact that they are triplets i want to pay their school fees till university the ministry of the spirit 
Alas, master, for it was borrowed. Where fell it and carries a stick and throws it down, hidden wisdom. I'm not talking of superstition, my brothers and my sisters. Please, let's not confuse what I'm explaining here. There are lots, I'm not talking of superstition at all. Let me emphasize it again. This is not some superstitious things. No, the spirit, the supervisor of the strangeness. We give you, God, the highest praise from the rising of the sun to the setting of the sun. We give you, God, the highest praise. Yeah. We give you God the highest praise Moses, sit down, please. Why? Listen, listen. God. God is doing something to someone here. That's why we sang and said, break our walls down. Remember you sang it. I warned you, you still sang it. Moses, tell them the Egyptians you see today. You will see them no more. But how will it happen? Moses, take a stick. Go and stand by a river. In front of two point something million angry people. Who are threatened to go back to slavery. And touch and let it divide. Master, if it be thou. I show you the ministry of the spirit. Bid me come. And he said, come. Walk on water. Pastor, let God reveal to you to tell any member to walk on water and you see what is going to happen in Lagos by tomorrow. Let me show you the ministry of the Spirit. You are highly favored. Telling Mary. Mary is standing quietly and an angel comes to say you are about to experience the ministry of the Spirit. And she said, how shall these things be? seeing that i know not a man and he says i know the normal course of life is that you will have a relationship with your husband to lead to that pregnancy but i'm about to introduce you to the ministry of the spirit the power of the highest shall overshadow you although it will be strange believe it that's why when she was pregnant she started searching who else has experienced this strange ministry and she went to elizabeth quickly to be able to relate with her now the bible says the baby is left that should give you concern but we don't ask questions because it is also the ministry of the spirit how can mothers be talking and their unborn children talking too so when you come to church pregnant and while the message is going on, your baby is moving too. You are surprised. Whereas that's the ministry of the Spirit too. Because you were told until the child is born first before he's alive. But that child is participating in the service. And as you are speaking to him, he's listening. The ministry of the Spirit is where the glory of the saints lie. It will help us to access the hidden wisdom of Christ that no eye has seen, no ear has heard, neither has it entered into the hearts of man. Listen, my brothers and my sisters, if you want to truly walk in glory, you must sustain the flexibility to let the oil move freely, although in a lamp. You can't freeze the oil and have it effective. No, the potential of oil is in its flexibility. When, when oil is condensed and you pour it in fire, what happens? As it begins to melt, that's when it can pass through and fry whatever you are doing. Many want the oil, but the condensed version of it. Let it fit quietly 
and not move and the oil says not me the wife of the prophet tried it that oil condensed there in a small container and remained there while she suffered but when the time of glory came the man said look you need to shake this oil go and get vessels the oil needs space to work you have constrained the oil by limiting its space so borrow vessels let the oil find space and you see that the oil can bring you money and you can live of it for the rest of your life the lord reveals to you as a man of god lord use me greatly and the lord tells you tell her that i am healing her and your ego stands between that prophecy and the opportunity for another ministration what if this lady says mind yourself man of god i'm not sick if you want to lie find another person somewhere and cameras capture it and so you are standing there the oil is under pressure waiting for your flexibility and your faith whereas you have not asked what if this spectacular miracle happens think what it will do to your ministry think what it will do to the name of the lord especially that the lady did not believe you that is the testimony of an unbeliever is powerful because an unbeliever is clear about his biases about god so when an unbeliever believes he makes other people believe so when, when god wants to give you 300 members at once he will bring one very controversial hardened person who is sick and give you a word of knowledge because that miracle cannot be doubted for instance and then you stand there the word is there but the spirit is under pressure the word and his spirit and this person is blessed and touched and goes back to be used by god to bring you all kinds of people come see a man one woman by the well equal to a crusade crowd one madman at gadara equal to the ministry of 10 cities ministry will be hard when the spirit is exempted it's difficult to bring members one by one you need to tap into the dimension of the spirit a simple but strange order where god will make noise through you in a way that will annoy the devil remember the devil also can access the lamp. If all I do, just talking and saying all of these things, let me tell you, you will feel moved the same way you cry when you watch a movie. So there's nothing special. The true transforming factor is the spirit behind it words are spoken and it looks like it enters you but the bible says it's the spirit that enters men that causes the motions are we together now yes that is why our prophetic decrees are powerless in the name of jesus may the lord lift you we say amen word no spirit no spirit in the name of Jesus, may your life change. Word, no spirit. It is even possible to fall down. No spirit. I made up my mind that truly, truly, and, and I want you to listen, please. You are not a blessing to men if you ignore the ministry of the spirit when god recommends someone to you it's wise to listen i will not leave you comfortless he says i will come to you he began to speak about the ministry of the holy spirit in john 16. i have yet many things to tell you but ye cannot bear them now he says how be it when he the spirit of truth is come his assignment is that he will guide you into all truth he will show you things to come he will take of what is mine because he can search the heart of the, of, the, of the Father and reveal to you. And the Bible says, this is the hidden wisdom that none of the princes, you see that? For had they known this, they would not crucify the Lord of glory. Why? Because crucifying him was what gave us access to the Spirit. So if they had known 
that when the word and the spirit meet whoever holds both is dangerous they would have made sure jesus did not die remember the bible says christ has redeemed us from the cause of the law galatians 3 it says be made a cause for us for it is written cost is he that hangs upon a tree that the blessing of abraham what is that justification by faith may come upon we the gentiles comma to the end that we may receive the promise of the spirit through faith that's the end so he was not just crucified just to give us life uh -uh. it was a channel a doorway that we finally access the spirit that was in one person on all of us it is that spirit of adoption that calls us into glory so i can stand from whatever background and, and wherever and hold on to the word of god a virgin hold on to extra oil a wise virgin qualified to now meet the groom just because you start a journey to destiny the groom can mean anything in your life the groom can mean the breakthrough you need listen the groom can mean whatever you expect is your version of the groom and the lord says when you start that journey just because you anticipate the coming of the bridegroom sometimes he may take time and when that word seems to get you weary the oil will sustain the hunger while you wait for the groom there are times that you have no words to pray you see that you are waiting you know you need time you still came back from church but you are weary but when you have the spirit you can engage the the mystery of the spirit that can keep you you finish you are so you are so downcast in 10 minutes you finished all your prayer and then when you begin to pray in the spirit access is given to you are you seeing that now this is one of the hidden wisdom of god shrouded in a parable of ten virgins that is not enough to just have the lamb the word you must also have access to the ministry of the spirit you must desire intimacy with the holy spirit not to be a preacher but as the balance system that assures you that you will see the groom listen i give you an assurance if you hold the lamb and you hold the oil you must meet the groom yes sir man of god when you hold the lamb and you hold the oil then be ready for an extraordinary ministry businessman when you hold the lamb and you hold the oil then be ready for a level and a dimension of influence and grace and prosperity you may have expectation for the coming of the groom but you may never meet him until the lamb and the oil gives you that access